Hey everybody, we're out here on Baden Lake and we are drifting for some catfish. Drifting the uh, gizzard shad pieces. So stay tuned and let's see what we get in. We are on Baden Lake, North Carolina. In my kayak, I'm headed upwind and I'm going to try and drift back across some ledges or down some ledges and I'll see if I can't hook up with some catfish. I've got some frozen shad I might have cut up and that's what I'm going to use for bait. Sadly I've only got the two rod holders here and here so I can't run the two rods. We're allowed as many as we want in North Carolina but I just haven't put or installed the two rod holders on the boat as of yet. So we're going to come up here a little ways see if I can't find a good place to start drifting for cats if I can't get into some. The big ones would be really nice. And that's what we're going to do. So there might be a couple I just floated over on about 25 feet of water it looks like. So I may be able to snag some. We'll have to see. So I'll be back when I get a hookup. Well folks, after drifting some ledges in the main body of the lake, I've not really done any good. I had zero hits or bites on the shad. So I moved upstream, or yeah, upstream. I came upriver, and I'm gonna drift down the ledge here towards the railroad bridge and see if we can get anywhere with it. I don't get anything on this drift, which is probably a half a mile or so. I may move further upstream or I may just call it. We'll just have to look and see what the time of day is because I'm drifting pretty slow at 0.3 miles an hour. So if I get a hookup, I'll be back. Okay, after a day, a almost, you know, it's been five and a half, six hours of drifting and everything else, trying to get some catfish to bite. Zero luck. Nothing. Not a zip, zilch. That's all right. I've got about an hour and a half left of daylight, so I think I'm going to revert to throwing a spinnerbait, see if I can't get on some bass. At least it'll be something. Maybe I can find this skunk that's hiding in this boat and chunk him out. hung myself up on a tree beautifully. <laughs> I should make that pole a little shorter, maybe. There we go. We got one. Yeah, buddy. I hung one. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Come on around here. Uh, uh, come here. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nice bass. Oh, yeah. Spinnerbait bass. I love spinnerbait bass. Come here, buddy. Come here. There you go. Look at that. Nice little spinnerbait bass. A pound and a half. Two maybe. See you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. That one's totally unexpected, but I liked it. Well, he hammered it too. 
Well, last bank. So far, still the only bass I caught is that one little pound and a half, two pounder. But he jumped in here and kicked the skunk out, so that's good. We're gonna fish around this little island here, back towards the boat ramp, because it's starting to get darker. And since I don't have lights on the boat and I can't stay out here after dark. There'll be another one along shortly. Come here, buddy. Settle. 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 Come here, little juve. Come here, juvie. There we go. Oh, buddy. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Big old bird, you can't see it, but I can see it. Probably gonna fly here in a second, so let me get my other camera up. I can get it recording before he takes off. It's done. It's dark enough. I don't want to get caught out here in the dark. So, to recap my day, several hours of drifting for catfish and nothing. Um, finally gave up on that. Broke out my spinnerbait. I uh, actually changed to a one with white and chartreuse, and I've caught two bass. And I think I had a couple more strikes. I'm not sure. I think it was short strikes. So that's two fish today. Um, both bass, no catfish. Maybe next time. We'll have to see. So until next time we go fishing, this is Whisker Time Fishing. I'm Mark. Thanks for joining in. And we'll catch you later. Tight lines and have a great evening.